Good gosh, wow! Man, that's an old mason jar. It has something in there, probably mud, but could have coins. Let's wash it off over here. So I'm at a different site now, and this place has totally been washed out since the last time I was here. It's a small little stream, and I've been finding lots of Native American pottery, bottles, and marbles at this location. And so far, just found two pieces. Got a bigger chunk of Native American pottery and a smaller piece. Just eyeballed them. This one was right over there. Like I just walked down here. There's a bottle that washed out, and you can see how the bank is very eroded. And some of the areas where I was searching last time are completely covered up. And then other spots where I couldn't search are now exposed. So I think it's going to be a really good eyeballing hunt here at the creek. You can see all kinds of broken glass, a broken milk jug right there. So there could be some arrowheads. That's what I'm hoping for. Let's see if we can find them. So there's several pieces of pottery down here. One is right there. Another one is right there, I believe, by the can. A big one right there laying on top. Let's go ahead and pick it up. Pretty nice, has some designs on there. Really faint, but can barely make them out. All right, let's see if this is pottery. Yep, old piece of pottery there. And this one, it's also Native American pottery. Different thicknesses. All right. Keep on looking in here. Might be an arrowhead. This stuff's washing out the bank and the side walls. Every time it floods, it's just pushing it back in. You can see right here, milk of magnesia bottle. It broke, but probably got washed in. Might find a marble. Let's keep looking. Well, there must have been a piece right beside it because I missed it. I missed this one. I thought it was a rock. Always good to recheck the area that you just searched. Because you never know what else could be there. All right, y'all. So, have another piece of pottery right there. Looks like. Let's get it out. Oh, man. Look at that one. Unbelievable. <laughs> that is awesome right there. Beautiful design on it. That's the top. Man, there's got to be a complete one of these in here. I'll take that all day long. So I found that big piece down there. I'm still walking upstream. Two more pieces just right there. I had to walk by this earlier. They blend in. Oh, yeah. Pretty cool to find. You can see that one has some stenciling on it. All right, put it in the pouch. A rock. So I don't see a whole lot right here. It's pretty cleaned out. Looks like all this sand washed in. Let's see if this bottle's complete. Good gosh, wow! Man, that's an old mason jar. It has something in there, probably mud, but could have coins. Let's wash it off over here. It's like a 1930s, 1920s. Ooh, yeah, it's got something in there. Ah, oh, a little chip on it. Man, that's a bummer. Still a good find, though. I think it has some writing on it. Yep, that's it. Looks like just clay. What if there was a piece of Native American pottery inside? That'd be unreal. Let's just wash this off a little bit. See what the damage is. There's a few chips on the side, but overall, it's still in good shape. I can use that to put coins inside. Or even the pottery I'm finding. What does it say? It says bale here on one side, and that's it. So, machine-made mason jar, probably 1930s, 1920s. I'll take it. That's a good find right there, y'all. That's what we're looking for. Bottles. Hello. So I found the mason jar just right down here, and now we're going to keep walking and see what else we could find. I believe I could see a piece of pottery right in front of me. Let's see. Right there. Right on the edge, so it probably fell down the bank. That's some serious erosion right there, y'all. 
All right, so let's slowly walk in here so we don't stir up the water just in case there's something like laying on top that we could eyeball. And looks like two pieces of pottery, one right there as well. That's not what I've seen, I've seen that one. Yeah, that's pottery. This is definitely pottery here. Oh yeah. All right. I don't know if y'all remember, but a few videos ago, maybe like two months ago, I found three or four nice bottles along this bend right here and that huge piece of Native American pottery. So this place has really been producing a lot lately. So you see that right there? That entire bank was washed out during the recent flood. And everything that was in there, whether it's coins, buttons, jewelry, arrowheads, bottles, got washed into this creek and probably down that way a good bit until it eventually got snagged up on some roots or stopped somewhere. And right down here, i just seen it right there. Looks like a piece of flint, maybe a chipping. Look at that. Sure enough, it's been worked. Man, this is getting me excited. There's a bottle top. Turn of the century, 1890s to like 1910. Not bad. There's a piece right there. I mean, this would be an ideal site to sift around because there's a lot of stuff covered up that I can't even see. Another piece of pottery right there. Ooh, that's a bigger one. Man, that's nice. Real nice. Woo, buddy. Yeah, that's lovely. Amazing stenciling there. Oh, man. Both sides. Could you imagine if that piece was complete? Amazing. Oh, I love doing this. Not a bad one there. So I've been following this little stream out to where it meets a bigger creek right there. And I just spotted a few more things. That looks kind of interesting. What do we have here? It has a patent number on it. Peace. It's a peace lock, y'all. There's also a piece of pottery. Right there. Look how this bedrock has been cut out. Actually, is that bedrock? No. This, no, none of that's bedrock. This is some type of, uh, I guess, material they put down to prevent erosion. I've seen it before. That, though, is definitely Native American pottery. What is that right there? Weird rock. So the pottery is washing out into this bigger creek so I guess we'll walk down here and see if we can find any more lots of gravel a little piece of pottery there not bad like I said we had some big floods lately and it's really stirred up everything Woo! getting into the sinking sand you could probably dig through this and sift it out and find some stuff if you got the patience there's a piece of a modern plate or bowl. Good little gravel bar here, so let's see if there's any arrowheads. That would have been interesting. Some type of bottle, man. Wish it was complete. Hey, if y'all know what type this was, let me know. What does it say? L.A. So it could have been a Coca-Cola. That would have been a rare one. Never seen one like that. Wow. All right, ooh, what is that? There's all kinds of interesting things here. That's a rock. All right, I'm gonna keep on looking. If I find anything else cool, I'll let you know. All right, y'all, so I put all that stuff I just showed you in the pouch, and I looked straight back down where I was at and spotted a marble. Y'all see it? It's a little bit out of the frame towards the top there. I was actually focusing on this side because I thought I seen a piece of pottery. You can see where I stepped right there. And I thought this was something good. It's just a rock. And right there is a marble, though. <laughs> that is awesome. Marble. 
It's a big one too. Look at the swirl on that thing. Pretty design. So you're not going to believe what I just found inside of this tunnel. The creek goes right through it several different times. So three times there. But I went in this side because there's no water. And I was walking in using my light on my phone to see. And I just eyeballed that right there. You know what that is? That's a radiator cap off of a Model T Ford. And it just washed in here, I reckon. Laying on top. Wow. Didn't even need a metal detector. <laughs> that is so cool. It's missing a little top piece. It had like complete covered brass right there. So it either got cut or it broke off. But I'm going to work my way over on that side and keep following this creek. We might be getting onto the hot spot. Another tunnel find. Looks like a big piece of pottery. Could be Native American. You see the edge right there. Definitely made out of clay. porcelain ball lid cover or cap whatever you want to call it this went inside of the lid I have no idea how in the world I spotted this I was walking pretty fast up the creek and I spotted something blue I put my hand down and just felt and I kind of wiped it off when I did let's go down and get a better look at it You guessed it, another marble. Like what are the odds? Two marbles in like an hour. That's as long as I've been out here at this creek. Crazy. Just got a little glimpse of that while walking. I guess it's, I don't know what that is there. Some type of hard pack material, almost like asphalt. And it was just laying right in there. Crazy. I definitely got an eye for things that are colorful. Let's find some pointed triangular rocks. Like arrowheads. <laughs> That's next on the list. This might be a piece of pottery here. Hard to tell. Definitely has the right shape to it. Same type of grainage. I'll keep it either way. Yeah, I think it is pottery because here's another piece. If it's pottery, it's thick. Real thick piece of pottery. It's got to be. Definitely. Make sure there's no more. That's what this is right here too. Sure enough. Somebody lost their chopper. A shotgun shell. Standing straight up. Hasn't been fired yet. Still intact. I tell you what, y'all. There's one thing about creek walking that I really love. It's simple to do. Doesn't cost a whole lot. You don't really need any tools. All you need is your eyes and a good pair of boots. Something to wear so you won't get cut up. Maybe some gloves every now and then if you're going to be digging your hands to the sand. But it's real simple. Anyone can do it. Whoa, look at all the fish. Spiderwebs out the way. Ooh, pouch is heavy. Got that one full. Got that one. Ooh, slippery. I just found this right here. I'm not really sure what that is. Is it a bomb? Or some type of weird speaker or just a ball. What does it say? Fisher Price. Hmm. Roll rounds. 
What if it just opened up? I don't know. There's something in there. Ooh, it might. I think it does open. It would have to with those seams on it. That's interesting. It's Fisher Price, so I don't know. Some type of kid's toy. Oh well. Heading back out. Well y'all, I am back in from the creek. These are all my finds. Got some really nice pieces of Native American pottery. You can see the detail on that one. Got some designs on them. Very lovely. Here's that real nice one here. It's dried out so it doesn't look as detailed as when I found it in the creek, but it's still there. Got a design on it. Have a plate, piece of one, has a face on there. That's probably 1930s or 40s. More Native American pottery. Very awesome stuff. It's fun to find. Wish I could eventually come across a complete pot or bowl. That'd be awesome. Also found two marbles. Have an orange swirl and a blue one there. I don't think they're very old. Maybe 1940s or 50s. Have a cap to a Model T Ford radiator. Old bottle top. Too bad the complete bottle's not there. Have a chopper. Some little mystery toy here. Some broken pieces of glass. This is off of a toy cap gun. Have a lock. Some mason jar lid covers. And also have some more stuff down here. Have the shotgun shell. I broke it apart. And there's still stuff in there. I'm just making sure because sometimes they fill up with rocks and things like that. It was wet though, so it definitely wouldn't have fired. And I'm not sure what these things are. I thought they were pieces of pottery at first, but I actually think it's something else. It has a weird texture to it. And if it is pottery, it's more modern. So that's pretty much it. So I really hope y'all enjoyed this hunt. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed already, click the bell and you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Until next time, y'all have a good one and God bless.